So in psychology, self-fulfilling prophecy is basically the idea that if you believe something in your mind um, strong enough, that you'll eventually kind of act in ways in your life that will help you achieve that goal. It can't be like the craziest goal in the universe, but something simple like, so like a common example is like, I'm going to pass this test because I studied really hard. You know, like if you study really hard and you believe that you're going to do well on the test that's coming up, you're more likely to pass the test or something like with relationships. If you believe mm -hmm. that if you have a depressed state of mind and you have a depressed view of yourself, of the world and of the future, like the Beck, uh, Beck cognitive triad of depression, then you're going to you're going to manifest that depression outwardly towards other people and other people are going to pick up on it around you. So when you're walking around like down the hallway in school or when you're interacting socially with other people and friends, family, whatever, they're going to pick up on that, you know, depression that you're kind of projecting outward because you're, it's mm -hmm. all in your mind. You believe that you're depressed. You believe that these negative things about yourself, the world and the future and so you don't have any hope. And so you're going to act like you don't have any hope. And then people are going to treat you. It's, it's kind of weird how it happens that people start treating you as if you're less, maybe not of less value is the way to say it, but they treat you in different ways because you're acting in a specific way. Compared to if you're acting optimistic, people might treat you more favorably. But if you're acting negative and pessimistic, people are likely to kind of reinforce that. It'll kind of confirm your belief, your self-fulfilling prophecy belief that the world is hopeless, that no one likes me because you're projecting that people are responding in a negative way because you're responding to them in a negative way. And so it just reinforces that belief and it just gets more and more reinforced. Mm. And so I think of self-filling prophecy basically as like a cycle. We see something happen once, we see it happen twice. Maybe let's say it's to a specific person or to a specific group or, you know, and then we begin to, to kind of react in a certain way when we come across that group or when we come across that person, if somebody tells you like, Hey, you know, this person is a liar. Don't, yeah. don't believe them. And then yeah. when you go talk to them and they tell you like, yeah, I just won the, uh, you yeah. know, my spelling bee. You're, You're like, like well, believe did this person really right. uh, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> has the step the spelling bee or you start yeah, maybe questioning it. In your mind. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it, start it, seeing it, doubt. It doubt. Yeah, once it's yeah, and so it everywhere, and then you start thinking things. I think belief is so powerful. Uh, and to your point, belief is what eventually uh, comes across through your actions and how you are comes yeah. across through all of that, right? You know, Navy SEAL training about uh, out of a hundred percent of people who go in, only twenty percent of people make it through. Like out of a class of like one hundred and fifty maybe 20 or less actually make it through the class, you know, the hell week and all that, a whole week where they go without sleeping and they're always working out and they're, they're, I mean, it's pretty much hell. Like they describe and they say it's all mental, you know, they say, you know, people quit because they're too focused on how hard it is or just a bunch of mental games. You know, they say it, yeah, it's physical. Yeah. You're going to be exhausted, but if you put yourself in a down state of mind, like, oh, my God, this is never going to end. Oh, I can't do this. And once you put that doubt in your mind, they say that's whenever people start to break, you know. But if you keep it in your mind, like, this is temporary. Oh, this will end one day. I won't ever have to go through this again. This will all end shortly. Like, the whole self-fulfilling thing is if you believe you can achieve, you know. I, I'm pretty sure you all probably heard that before. To some degree, if you have a belief that you can become rich and you work hard, like if you don't act on it, then yes, you're probably never going to. It might not happen. But if mm -hmm. you really yeah. act on it and you take the steps necessary because you believe it's going to happen, I feel like maybe it is possible. I don't know. I mean, same with like, like if you want to get married, uh, meet a girl, have a girlfriend or whatever. If you really, if you don't believe it, you believe it's never going to happen, then, then you're going to act in ways to where you kind of, Push, yeah, for it not to push, happen. You're going to yeah, display you push emotion. Yeah. yeah, you display negative emotion. You push women away. You push, you'd look past opportunities that are right in front of your eyes with women. And then you'd miss out. And you wonder, like, mm -hmm. why am I still seeing But it's like, because you, your belief didn't match what you want. You know, you have to have a strong yeah. belief. You know, let's say I, I dream every day that I'm going to become, you know, a basketball player. But, like, let's say, for example, you know, the average you know, basketball player tends to be six, five and I'm six foot or, you know, five feet, you know, for example, yeah. you know, I can dream all day. I can, you know, try to believe 
all day, but maybe I'm just going to be a great jump shooter, you know, at, you know, a lower league well, basketball that, team, but like, I'm not going to be. You could dream it, but, like, if you're not actually going out and doing work, you know, because there's been short people in the NBA, but yeah, I think what you're trying to say is, like, you know, you can dream all you want, but you have to put an effort towards what and, your dream you know, is, also, right? Yeah, but yeah it's, it's like both, both together, somewhere. too. Yeah, yeah like if you're not your actions are not matching what you're saying, then it's almost like you know, wishing like you had candy or but then there nobody sells candy in your in your in your uh, uh, you're saying, like, area like, or something like there, there's like you gotta go to North America or you gotta travel yeah. somewhere. Yeah, there's like physical limitations that can stop us definitively from ever achieving certain goals right so certain goals there are certain things i'm trying to think of one like if you're blind i mean if you believe you're going to see it that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to eventually see right like very severe physical limitations i think you can't manifest those you know i think there are limitations on that is what you're saying and and, and there's also like certain talents right like i guess you know it's also realizing that you know we're born with certain skills and talents and let's say you know one person is just like, you know, they're super gifted in, you know, business, right? They, they're they like, ever since they were little, they were, they, they would put up lemonade stands everywhere they went. Like, they were just keen business people, like drawn, like you just see the natural talent. And, and I, I think, you know, if the kid eventually wants to become a business person, you know, and then they have the talent for it, then I mean, they can go on and be very successful in that, right? If they're, continuously like putting that mental goal in themselves but i mean i i think also like let's say for example the same scenario the the kid is very talented and wants to put up lemonade stands and stuff like that but the parents or the family or or they you know they they uh they don't allow them to to do that or they tell them like why are you doing that stupid stuff like 